Considered some point that we can take and bring in our country. Uh, as you know, when you're living out of the country, you see more things. But the other question is in how can you contribute in our country? Peacefully, for example, um, if you put all the people together and if you put all the young people together, their youngest will be the agent of change in our country. They don't have heads. They don't um, have all these kind of ideas that are uh, that you can find in other people. So that's why we have, uh, we have invited them to share ideas on how we will have our country uh, socially, politically, judicially. So as you saw in uh, in the panel. You saw ever everyone coming with something. Yeah, we've seen so many conferences here in Netherlands. And uh, how do you think the the Nhar Peace Project would overcome the challenges that others faced? Look, when we are here on the Hague Peace Project, we have three things. First, we try to monitor all the information in our country. So, two, we share ideas and try to analyze and three we try to help each other we um, we consider this place as a safe haven where everyone can share an idea without fear with the aim that he can contribute in uh, one way or, or in the other way this is uh, the first thing and second if I have to go in we are all expects coming from the conflict region this is originally so it means you put all this person with the knowledge with the capacity with the experience coming from the country of origin coming the country when conflict and they try to come together and try to work for the country where they are coming from in the other NGO, you see people asking you to come, to give ideas, and then they went, they do everything for them, for, for themselves. They, they receive funds and money, but this money is for them. But here, we do not have that, such money, because we are people coming from the region. That's why we do not have this sort of funds. But we are proud to do this, because we are coming from the country, and we know all the problems and we try to to change in our way of changing, in our small way of changing, but we do something for our country. Yeah, so you're best here in the Netherlands, but we still see uh, some tribalism, if I can call it discrimination. Uh, we have many examples, you can count A, B, C to Z from uh, people, I don't know, but the hatred or the discrimination is against Wanyamurengi. I can say that may, maybe they can, it can contribute for them for not attending many conference, conferences as such. So then what can you say to them? How can you interest them to be part of this even next time? Uh, two years ago, I was in Dordrecht. And in that room, in that conference, there was only Banyamulenge, and I was invited to talk. And I gave my speech, and I hear, and I remember people saying, since I have been in Europe, this is the first time that I, have some, that I hear something of someone talking about something truly. So I, I went to the point, I gave my position on this tribalism. Um, I'm coming from Kivu, I was born in the Bukavu and grown up there. I don't hex any, any, any tribe. And I have a friend in the Banyamulenge, I have a friend and I have a family in the Banyamulenge community. I, I talked to you about the one I consider as my sister, and you know her very well, she's Banyamulenge. So she is, we, we, we grew up together. In the same in the same in the same area, and we are family. I I consider her as my as my as, as my sister. I think that the Banyamulenge community they have to fear people talking about this or to people talking about that. They have to to um, to show up and show that they are just talking about this country. Banyamulenge does have one country. 
you will not go in Rwanda or Burundi to say, no, I hear this is my country. You saw what happened in, the, in Rwanda where they shot dead all the Manyamulenga in Rwanda. So we have to come together. We have to do things together. We have one country. We have to contribute to this country. We have to bring peace in this country. We will not go in any other country. We are living here, but this is our place. Yes, we're here, they accept us, but every time they ask you, where do you come from? So we have to remember where we're coming from. And where we're coming from, we have to talk about this. Tribalism, we have to, to fight together. We have to, to have the ideas and strategy that will help everyone to live in peace. So now you organize this event and uh, you're planning to the next one. So what is your plan? What are your projects? What, what are the topics for the next for the, for the next, we would like to talk about the Congolese nationality uh, in a way of a philosophy, in a philosophical way. How can you yourself um, uh, present as a Congolese without doing something for your country? So if you think that you are Congolese, you have to do something. I saw one video of young girls living in USA trying to, 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 to find this uh, nail machine that will help people, for example, in Muleng and the other area there. This is, this are Congolese because they try to help a country in a way that they know if they send this there, this will help people there. Thank Not you. only in Munyamule, in, 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 in Tombwe, yeah. this will help people in Mwenga, this will help people in Fizi, this is will help people in Uvira. This is the, 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 the real way of asking or presenting yourself as Congolese. Thank you very much. Imurenge.com